Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be of the look in the thumbnail. Ever since I did this shoot with Studio Mink, everyone was obsessed with the makeup that I did so I thought I would film it. Um, by the way, how freaking gorgeous is Lily? Oh my god, she's only 16. Oh whoops, I forgot to tell you what I was doing. Okay, so I just used micellar water on a cotton pad just to remove all the dirt and everything off her face. I'm not saying that her face was dirty, but I always do it before clients just to ensure that everything's nice and clean. Then I spread her face with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. And then I'm just applying the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW20 and just applying that evenly over her face and then buffing it out with a damp beauty blender even though she doesn't even need foundation because her face is already flawless. I can't believe she's 16. I legitimately looked like a foot when I was 16. Like, I, I, I'm going to actually put a photo of what I looked like when I was 16. I actually remember that exact day I took that picture. I just got back from the hairdressers and I thought I was killing it. Those brows though. And the lip color. Actually, what was I just thinking with my makeup in general, to be honest? And then there's Lily. Perfect in every single way. I just can't wait to see what she's gonna look like when she's 22. Like if she looks like this at 16, what is she gonna look like at 22, honestly? Please don't forget me when you're famous. Oh, I should probably get back to the makeup tutorial. Um, so I'm putting the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light underneath her eyes to conceal, even though she doesn't need concealing and highlighting and then blending it out with a damp beauty blender, as per always, but before that, I go down her forehead down the bridge of her nose, Cupid's bow, and on her chin. And then I'm doing the little lines next to her mouth to help with contouring. Um, I find that it actually really does help. Like if you guys are struggling with contouring, then I would definitely recommend trying this little tip or trick. Um, Cause it like really sets a guide to where you should contour after you blend it out and everything. So. Yes, and now I am blending everything out with my damp beauty blender. And then I'm just priming her eyelids just using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again and I'm just blending that out with a small like kabuki style brush. And then I'm baking her concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder as per usual just on the same damp beauty blender. And then setting the rest of her face with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder in Natural. And then I'm just setting her eyelids with a translucent powder. I'm pretty sure I just used the Laura Mercier one just so the eyeshadows blend easier. Um, and yeah. And then of course to bronze and contour I'm using Hula Benefit and I'm just using that on a Spectrum Cosmetics brush and it has very quickly become one of my favourite bronzing brushes ever. Um, as you can see I'm just applying that into her cheekbones, along her jawline, temples, um, underneath her lip, nose and then just on her forehead a little bit. And then I'm using the Milani Bake Blush in Luminoso. How stunning is it? I pretty much use it on every client just because I find it so versatile and just works well on every single skin tone. I absolutely love it and it's so cheap as well. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop, one of my favorites as well. And I'm just placing that on her cheekbones, on her cupid's bow, on the tip of her nose, and then just a little bit above and below her brows. Thank you. 
So for brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette. And I'm just going to use Soft Brown just on the Pony Cosmetics Eyebrow Brush. And yet again, she's gifted with amazing eyebrows. So I didn't really do much. I just kind of filled in the sparse areas and then just set it with a brow gel. So for eyeshadow, I'm using Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek Cosmetics just as a transition shade and just buffing that into her crease. And then I'm going in with Blanc Single Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just placing that on the inner corner of her eyes. And then taking a brown from the Tartlet palette, I'll leave it on the screen. I'm just using my MAC 217 brush. By the way, if you don't have this brush, you need it in your life. Right now, it's like the best blending brush ever. I'm just concentrating that color in the outer Vs and blending it out. By the way, I know this eye makeup look may look similar to the bridal inspired makeup look I did with Brooklyn, but it was such a requested makeup look when I did the Studio Mint Girls, and so I thought, why not use the model that I actually used on the day for the makeup tutorial, and I just thought it just looked amazing on her, so that's why I uploaded it. I know it is similar to the other one, but I still love the way it turned out. Oh, and by the whistle, I'm just blending everything out just with a large fluffy brush. And then I'm just going in like with the MAC 217, adding more product, blending it out. You know the drill. And then I'm just adding a little bit more of the Blanc eyeshadow that we used before just to intensify the whiter shade just because it got a little bit lost in the blending process. And then I'm just lining her waterline with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black. And then I just used that brown from the Tartlet palette to smoke it out with a tapered blending brush. And then I'm taking the Gerard Cosmetics Grace Highlighter and I'm just using that to highlight the inner corners and her brow bone. And then for winged liner I use the Tarte Cosmetics Clay Paint Liner in black and the brush that I'm using is a Zoeva winged liner brush. And then I'm just coating her lashes with mascara and the mascara I used was the Benefit They're Real. We'll go the the 
And then for lashes, I use the Model Rock lashes in the style 212. I actually have a little mini how to put lashes on a client mini tutorial in my last bridal um, video. So if you'd like to learn, then definitely check that one out. So yeah, I'm just applying the lashes and what a difference lashes make, seriously. I love lashes so much. And then I'm just using a liquid liner. This one's just the NYX one, or NYX, however you pronounce it. And I just couldn't be bothered to wait for the glue to dry, so I just went over the top of her lash line. And then I'm just using that mascara wand again just to blend her real lashes with the falsies. <laughs> So for lip liner, I used the Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lip Liner. And then for lipstick, I used the Velvet Teddy by MAC. And then I just stuck a clear gloss over the top. I can't actually remember which one I used. I think it was by Rimmel, and it's actually one of my fave glosses ever. So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. Um, and by the way, I did want to include the dark lip, which was originally um, the makeup for the Studio Mink photo shoot just in here so you guys can see what the darker vampire lip looks like. Personally, I think I like the nude lip with the eyes, but you could definitely pull off a dark lip with the eye makeup as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.